In the middle of the Second World War, there was a technological accomplishment that made the Manhattan Project look easy. This was a day that would go down in history, though the world would barely know it. On October 28, 1943, as day broke over the Philadelphia Navy Yard, the USS Eldridge was about to undergo a top-secret experiment that would defy logic and time itself. The Philadelphia Experiment is a series of secret military projects which took place in 1943. The US government, in collaboration with brilliant minds like Nikola Tesla and Albert Einstein, had been working on a revolutionary technology to make ships invisible. They claim Albert Einstein and other scientists designed a way to make a ship vanish into thin air, literally and reappear somewhere else. What was intended as a simple test to cloak the ship turned into something far more extraordinary, something that would leave the crew in unimaginable horror and spark a conspiracy that would last for decades. This is the story of the Philadelphia Experiment. The Philadelphia Experiment. On October 28, 1943, the Philadelphia Navy Yard was the setting for an event that would be shrouded in mystery for years to come. The USS Eldridge, a naval destroyer escort, was docked in the yard, surrounded by heavy, unfamiliar equipment. These devices were part of a covert project aimed at making the ship invisible to enemy radar using a combination of electromagnetic fields. What was designed as a routine test of these technologies quickly spiraled into something far more sinister. At precisely 9 o'clock a.m., the equipment was activated. Large generators hummed to life, creating an energy field around the ship. Suddenly, the Eldridge vanished, cloaked by a bluish-green mist. A flash of light, and it was gone, leaving the crew and those nearby in disbelief. But the story didn't end there. The USS Eldridge reappeared nearly 200 miles away in Norfolk, Virginia, only to vanish again moments later, reappearing back in Philadelphia. But what was truly unsettling was the crew's reaction. The men aboard the ship were found in a state of extreme distress. Some burned, others insane, and several embedded within the ship's metal hull, as if the boundaries between space and time had not only bent, but broken altogether. This experiment, which would become infamous, was just the beginning of an enduring mystery. The Aftermath – Government Cover-Up In the wake of the Philadelphia experiment, the U.S. government took swift and drastic action to suppress what had occurred. The horrific scenes aboard the USS Eldridge were enough to convince authorities that the experiment had gone catastrophically wrong. Many of the crew members had suffered severe injuries, some with their bodies fused into the ship's molten steel, while others had gone mad. These gruesome results, combined with the inexplicable nature of the event, led the military to deem the entire project too dangerous to continue. Rather than admitting to the failure, the government sought to erase all traces of the Philadelphia experiment. Classified documents were destroyed, and any public records or testimonies were either hidden or ignored. However, the incident didn't disappear entirely. A few years later, an eccentric author named Morris K. Jessup would bring the case to the public's attention. In 1955, Jessup, who had already made a name for himself as a researcher in the fields of UFOs and electromagnetic theories, began to receive letters from an individual who claimed to be part of the crew on the USS Eldridge. The man, who called himself Carl M. Allen, recounted the details of the experiment. This was witnessed by a merchant mariner called Carl M. Allen, who claims that he saw it vanish in a green mist. Describing its strange effects on time and space, and setting the stage for the conspiracy theories that would follow. The Role of Carl M. Allen Carl M. Allen's letters to Morris K. Jessup were the first concrete evidence that the Philadelphia experiment might not have been a mere accident. In his correspondence, Allen claimed to have been aboard the USS Eldridge during the fateful test. His letters detailed extraordinary experiences that aligned with the more outlandish parts of the Philadelphia experiment story. Time travel, teleportation, and encounters with alien beings. Allen described how the Eldridge had not only vanished from Philadelphia, but had also appeared in another time and space, causing bizarre and inexplicable consequences. Jessup, both fascinated and shocked by the letters, sought to investigate further. He corresponded with Allen, asking for any physical evidence to back up the unbelievable claims. 
However, Alan's responses remained vague and elusive. Despite this, Jessup couldn't ignore the possibility that something extraordinary had occurred. His curiosity and determination led him to attempt to unravel the truth behind the government's secrecy. But the strange events didn't end with Alan's letters. In 1957, Jessup was contacted by the U.S. Navy, which requested a meeting with him. The Navy had received a copy of Jessup's book, The Case for UFOs, which had been annotated with handwritten notes, written in Alan's handwriting, that referenced the very same phenomena discussed in his letters. These revelations only deepened the mystery and raised new questions about the government's involvement in such a secretive and dangerous project. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Tesla's Involvement The story of the Philadelphia experiment dates back long before 1943, with the involvement of one of the most brilliant minds in history, Nikola Tesla. In the late 19th century, Tesla was conducting groundbreaking experiments that sought to manipulate electricity and magnetic fields in ways no one had ever considered. By 1895, Tesla had already begun exploring the boundaries of space and time with his work on electromagnetic fields. He believed that these forces could influence not just physical objects, but the very fabric of reality itself. Tesla's theories and experiments seem to align perfectly with the goals of the Philadelphia experiment. In fact, it is widely believed that Tesla's research on invisibility and time manipulation formed the foundation of the secret project. By the 1930s, Tesla was working on methods to make objects invisible through the use of electrical currents. These early experiments would become the backbone of the project when it moved to the Princeton Institute for Advanced Study in the 1940s. However, Tesla was not fully convinced that the technology should be used. In 1941, as the project gained momentum, Tesla grew increasingly concerned about the potential dangers. Fearing the consequences of such powerful technology, Tesla withdrew from the project, warning of catastrophic outcomes. Despite his objections, the project continued under the leadership of John von Neumann with devastating results. Tesla's warnings, though ignored, were eerily prescient. Einstein's involvement. By the time the Philadelphia experiment was underway, Albert Einstein had joined the project, adding another layer of complexity. In the 1940s, as World War II intensified, the U.S. government sought the expertise of leading scientists. Tesla's concerns were ignored, and the project moved to Princeton, where Einstein contributed his knowledge of space-time and electromagnetic fields. Einstein's involvement was pivotal in bringing scientific legitimacy to the project, as his theories of relativity provided a foundation for understanding how time and space could theoretically be manipulated. Einstein's theories of relativity offered a theoretical framework for manipulating space and time. Tesla's work focused on electromagnetic fields, while Einstein's theories made the project scientifically plausible. Despite his involvement, Einstein grew uneasy about the potential risks of such an experiment. His warnings about the dangers of tampering with space-time were dismissed, and the project continued. Ultimately, as the project neared completion, Einstein also withdrew fearing the disastrous consequences. The project was handed over to John von Neumann, whose lack of moral reservations meant the experiment proceeded with catastrophic results. Theories of Time Travel The Philadelphia experiment intersects with theories of time travel and space-time manipulation. At the core of the experiment was the idea that electromagnetic fields could distort reality. This concept stems from Einstein's theories of relativity, which suggest that time and space can be influenced by gravity and velocity. It's theorized that the USS Eldridge may have been caught in a distortion of space-time, creating a time loop, or wormhole, allowing the ship to travel through both space and time. While these ideas remain speculative, they align with modern physics concepts like wormholes and time dilation, inspiring both scientists and enthusiasts to search for evidence that the impossible may one day be possible. The Mystery of Out-of-Place Artifacts The Philadelphia Experiment connects with the phenomenon of out-of-place artifacts, OOP arts, objects found that challenge our understanding of history. These items often suggest advanced technologies long before their time, possibly hinting at lost knowledge related to time travel. 
In the 1990s, archaeologists in the Ural Mountains found spiral-shaped objects made of copper, tungsten, and molybdenum, dating back tens of thousands of years. Some believe they may resemble modern nanotechnology. Similarly, the Klerksdorp spheres found in South Africa, dating back three billion years, present an anomaly highly symmetrical and suggesting manufactured precision. These artifacts raise intriguing questions. Could they be remnants of an ancient civilization with knowledge of time manipulation? Or could they provide evidence of past time travel experiments? As with the Philadelphia experiment, these findings suggest that humanity may have uncovered secrets to bending time long before modern science discovered them. The story of the Philadelphia experiment, shrouded in secrecy and mystery, continues to captivate the imagination of those intrigued by the possibilities of time travel and advanced technologies. From Nikola Tesla's early experiments to the government's cover-up and the eerie consequences aboard the USS Eldridge, the events of October 28, 1943, leave more questions than answers. Whether the experiment was a case of time manipulation, a technological breakthrough, or something far stranger, the tale serves as a reminder of the limits of human understanding and the tantalizing possibility that some mysteries may never be fully solved.